wind. Yeah. Wind is horrible, especially when it's cold and the wind blows, but rain's pretty bad yeah, too because dampness. you're walking around with wet feet. The dampness in your bones. Oh and yeah, hurts. you get to our age, every little, we feel every little ache. staying under a bridge. And that's when I got up the next morning, I felt the pain in my foot. They had a nurse there and he said, you got frostbite. So they took me to the Good Samaritan. That's where they amputated him. Uh, my wife and I separated and I was sort of went to living in my car in a truck stop. I, I'm guilty of having the same um, same idea of what homeless people were like as probably most people do who are not. It seems that uh, a lot of younger people don't think it's ever going to happen. I don't think I ever thought that I would be in this situation. When we uh, lay down for the night, we uh, sleep on mats on the floor of a church. When you get to our age, sleeping on a concrete floor. It's not comfortable. I think it bothers me the most like in the middle of the night when I have when I get up. Sometimes I mean it's it's excruciating to me. Well, I can't live like this the rest of my life. I'm gonna have to get in someplace. I I could do it about five nights and start to mine it in my shoulder. So I stay in a motel down there. And, uh, many of them work as hard as they can using their strengths to just get by day after day. Right now I'm flying a sign. I'm out there at uh, Pier 1. Hmm. He tried, he tried, but he's got medical problems. And when you're getting older, okay, and, and you're like, what am I, I I'm going to die uh, homeless, jobless from a pot washer kind of, you know, that, that's all I ever became. Being that I was a former truck driver and I go into the flying jail lot to get fuel, they, you know, they all know me in there. So they all made sure I got a shower every day and all that. Your and shower is now that's ready. basically Please how I survived out there. Shower 19. I'd like the janitor work, dishwashing work, restaurants, but I'm retired now. Yeah, I think I've seen a lot of people struggling in the same struggles that I am, perhaps even harder than I have to struggle because um, they've lived the homeless lifestyle for quite a long time. We get this, the, the stereotype images of the barrel with the fire and they're standing around the barrel. Then the brown bag gets passed and that's, I, obviously it's not all of that. Well, some people consider you a pain in the neck. I know that. They're not too sympathetic. But uh, you get more respect, I think. People respect, I guess they like dogs better than people. Well, we're, we're normal, everyday people who have just for some reason or the other made mistakes in our lives that turned out to be more detrimental than we had anticipated. Everybody's got a different story about why they're homeless and anything can go wrong and you can become homeless in a heartbeat. They're trying to get me out of one West Penn, but they can't get me in. Yes, we're on the, the list for two West Penn, but that could take years. Uh, there's a real a real issue of older folks who are homeless because uh, if you've had a low-paying job, say minimum wage for most of your life, what's ultimately going to happen is you're going to get a minimum Social Security payment. And if they're fortunate enough to get out of the shelter and get public housing, um, that apartment is going to cost them a third of their income if their Social Security payment is about $600 a month. Well, there's $200 that goes for the rent. Um, which is a great deal. However, that leaves $400 for everything else. 
and that that just doesn't leave a lot for um, survival. To get my own place, it, it took a while for it to sink in, but knowing that I did have my own place and my name on the lease and everything made me feel really good, like I accomplished something.